welcome back to my channel. My name is Aisha and if this is your first time stopping by, please subscribe. So if you can't even tell by my face already, I am tired. It's been a long day. It's actually like 10 p.m. right now. But it is Friday, so I had work today and it just felt really nice to be done because this was a really long week. I had a big presentation that I did that went pretty well, so I'm happy about that. So yeah, it just felt good to go and shop. Honestly, it wasn't even the kind of shopping where I just went and was like, you know shopping with no sense it was more of an essential shopping things that i'm gonna need over the next few weeks for many different reasons um so yeah i just decided to go after work today so i went to tj maxx today target and the beauty supply store so i ended up spending so much money more than i really wanted to but these were actually things that i needed for the most part and then i went to my sister's house and stayed there for a few hours ate dinner so that is why i'm home so late but before i go into the stuff i bought today i really wanted to do like a mini black friday haul i didn't like really go crazy this black friday i feel like i bought things that either i really needed or really wanted for a long time so for my first items this was a store that i've been wanting to shop at for a while but i honestly didn't know if i could fit into their stuff this was before my reduction that I've been wanting to try some of these things. But I finally got my hands on Skims. So that was a brand where I was very in the middle on if I wanted to try. Um, I do feel like it's a little pricey for, you know, very basic outfits. But I just really wanted to try their bras more specifically. Like, try to see, like, if they're comfortable. Something to lounge in. Like, I work from home now, so I just really love comfortability so i figured it would be a good time to try some stuff from them especially because it was black friday and i was getting a discount on some of this stuff so i only bought two things because i needed to see of course what my sizing was if i would actually like it if this was something i wanted to spend hundreds of dollars on so this is the first thing that i bought from them i feel like this is one of their more popular or like very well-known uh pieces just like you know their standard almost like a sports bra or like t-shirt bra um, i'm gonna link all the i'm gonna link the two things that i bought down below in case you want to get some for yourself but yeah this is pretty much it and i got this color because i wanted it to be kind of like nude on me you know like something that was very close to my skin color i know this part like the band part is what a lot of people complain about like that it can be a little uncomfortable but personally like after trying it on it didn't really bother me too much it just feels more like a sports bra or like a, having a, a top on if that makes sense and with skims they typically suggest going a size up so i'm usually like a medium large so i went with a large instead you know go on the bigger side um just to be safe which i'm actually happy that happened because i feel like this fits a lot more comfortably Remember, this is loungewear, so you probably should size up because, you know, you want to be more comfortable and stuff. But overall, super cute. I haven't really worn it yet besides the day that I tried it on, but I'm probably going to use it maybe this week. Wear it, see how I feel about it. And then I got this other little cute bra. It's in the shade Coco. Also got this in a size large, but I really, really like this one. I feel like this one... It doesn't necessarily support like these definitely aren't bras that you wear to you know hold the girls up <laughs> but it just feels really really comfortable it like the straps aren't uncomfortable they don't pull on your shoulders and back like regular bras like this is definitely more of an everyday bra that you would wear under a t-shirt to run errands like you know probably wouldn't wear this with a really nice outfit if you really wanted to look you know super supported but it's definitely a super comfortable bra and yeah i really like it so i love the color as well as you can see i was really going with the brown nude kind of shades for this so so far i do think that i would shop at skims again i'm gonna wear these too and see how i feel about it but i do want to get more of the actual clothing like their lounge clothing so the fleece pants the shapewear a bunch of stuff so i'm gonna probably buy things over time but yeah so far i do like the two things that i bought and i do have other stuff from this black friday but i think it makes sense to put it in a different video if the video goes up you'll understand why so stay tuned but i did make a purchase that i am so happy about like it just got here today and i have been obsessed this one was a bit of a splurge but i do not regret it at all like i am so so happy with this purchase so this is her she is beautiful isn't she just the box even look gold on top so this is gentle fluidity by maison francis Courjon. i hope i pronounced that right if i didn't though no one come for me but i am so happy this has been on my perfume wish list for a really long time this wasn't even a planned purchase like i wasn't planning to really spend that much for this black friday but i saw that Saks was having like a 15 percent off like all of everything on their store in their store basically so fragrances apply to and when i went to soho on black friday so i actually went downtown i went into bloomingdale's and actually smelled this for the first time and when i tell you i fell in love like I could smell it on me the entire day. I was thinking about the perfume days later. Like, it was on my mind. So when I saw that Saks was having that 15% off, I just had to close my eyes 
and buy it because I just knew it was one of those purchases I would not regret. Alright, so I'm gonna be really extra with the unboxing of this because she deserves it. So first off, this box is so pretty. I love this little gold white theme here. Isn't she so beautiful? Like, oh my gosh, like the top of it, the bottle, like it's just... It just screams luxury. I'm just so happy because I've been really into perfumes lately. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older, but I've really been searching for my signature scent, like a scent that I'm really just like, this is my go-to. And I have a couple like Princess by Killian. Um, I've been a fan of the Chloe perfume for a few years now. So I have a couple that I've been loving, but there's just so many that I wanted to try. And I think this one definitely has to be one of the best that I've purchased. It just complements my skin so well. Like the smell of it is just immaculate. So the main notes for this are vanilla and amber. And this is also unisex. So, you know, you can buy it for yourself. Like everyone can use it. I think it is a great gift. Like if someone gifted this to me, I would be in love with them. Like it actually smells that good. But I am so happy to have her in my collection. I can't wait to get the rest of the family. So enough of that. Here is some of the stuff that I bought today. Also not showing everything because some of the things were truly very basic. Like it just wouldn't make sense to put it in a haul. But I did score some gems today. So the first thing that I got, I actually think is so cute and very massive as well. So I got this really big duffel bag um, from TJ Maxx. So it's from Steve Madden. And ugh, I literally have to move back just to get in the camera. So this is it. And isn't it so cute? It has like that teddy material. I was worried about getting this because I feel like when this kind of bag or when this kind of material gets dirty, it's hard to clean. But honestly, it was just super cute. It was $60, um, which I think it's pretty fair for how big it is um yeah like this is a really big bag and it has a lot of space inside of it it has you know this big um kind of handle to oh my gosh it has this big handle to put like over you and i really needed something big enough to carry a lot of stuff because i am going somewhere soon stay tuned yeah i just needed something that was gonna hold everything i love the color the material of it and then got some random stuff like i got this little makeup pouch just to put any essentials in here this was seven dollars this is something i'm actually really excited that i got so i've been trying to switch to a uh, um electric toothbrush for a while just because i know they're better for you and this brand i've seen in target a bunch of times like i've always been tempted to buy it but it's like forty dollars which for an electric toothbrush actually isn't bad but it's one of those things like you know, when you go shopping, you don't really think to buy this. But I saw this in TJ Maxx for $25. So I had to really debate, like, should I buy this right now? But then I realized I'm probably not going to find a cheap price like this for a while. And of course, these last longer than, like, the manual ones you have to keep throwing out. It also has a two-minute timer on it. And then the first head you can get for five dollars if you subscribe to them or something besides that i think it is pretty simple or a lot cheaper to replace the heads so yeah i just knew that i had to get this because i'm probably not gonna get it this cheap again and you know this is one of those purchases you can't say oh i regret buying it because it's a toothbrush and then the other stuff that i got kind of basic also stuff that could maybe go in a separate video so yeah we're just gonna ignore that but that is everything that i bought today so i definitely spent more money than i wanted to as always but i actually truly needed most of this stuff if not needed it will at least be very useful for me so it definitely wasn't one of those careless shopping sprees and i can't believe that i almost forgot to show you the best thing that i bought so this weekend is SantaCon. it's actually tomorrow and i am celebrating it with my friends here in the city i've never done SantaCon in new york so this is gonna be very interesting i've only done it in college um so yeah i'm excited but i had to get you know the ugly christmas sweater and i found this at some discount store near my gym like it was super cheap ten dollars no tax or anything like very very cheap but it is a jingle bell sweater a freaking jingle bell sweater so I really wanted to follow the whole ugly Christmas sweater trend and all of that so what better way to follow that than to get a furry jingle bell sweater like I think it is so cute like I cannot wait to wear this I couldn't get the hat or like reindeer ears or anything so maybe I'm gonna try to get that tomorrow like from a store downtown I'm sure people will be selling it so yeah but this is so extra i already know i'm gonna be waking up the whole block when i'm walking tomorrow but i cannot wait so good night so i'm clearly having a lot of fun with this but i am ready for santa con so i'm very late like all of my friends are already downtown but the problem is that they're all meeting up with separate friend groups so like 
it's kind of hard to coordinate because they're all in different places but yeah this is the outfits i literally love it i'm gonna show you the pants that i paired with it so i put these zara pants that i bought for black friday and i'm so happy that i got these like when i tell you it is extremely comfortable the leg is also wide so it's super cute it just looks like very luxurious and comfy and i put a little extra effort with my makeup today not really i'm still not wearing foundation i've really been hating foundation like i can't remember the last time i wore it so i only wear skin tint now the ami Cole one but as you can see it just makes you look so airbrushed and then i put some concealer i also tried the lighter concealer method um if you watched my last vlog or two vlogs ago i bought a lighter concealer shade because i've always felt like my concealers weren't bright enough like they didn't really bring my features out but i love how it just like it's pulling everything together right now and of course i had to bring the slick bun as always so i have like these clips pretty much going all around and then i also have like a green hair tie to kind of go with the theme and then i also have my green drop earring so i am so happy with the, how this look came out even though this sweater is kind of the most like i feel like it's so fun i just love the colors all together like I just love it and i'm kind of picking between these two perfumes to use today so i of course got this one last night i really like i love it so much i don't want to just use it any day like i know you don't need an occasion to wear perfumes but i just feel like i want to wait till i'm like maybe a little more dressed up to wear this one so i think i'm gonna go with princess today i think to go with like the cozy vibes i'm gonna wear my uggs and i'm just gonna leave them under the pants like i'll let the pants fall over them um and yeah this is pretty much the fit right now the weather is weird so it's in the 50s but i'm seeing that there's a wind advisory and it might rain later so i don't know if i want to take a jacket like i was thinking to just wear a scarf because obviously the sweater is so warm and we, we're probably going to be walking around a lot though so i don't know if that's enough so i'm going to ask my friends if i should bring a jacket out but i'm definitely going to take a scarf in case and an umbrella which is so annoying though because i really wanted to carry a small purse but i think i'm going to have to carry something big to fit some of my stuff so yeah so i'm gonna start heading out now hopefully i'll get good clips of downtown i'm really hoping it's not chaotic like i know most years santa con is chaotic but i'm hoping this year it's a little more chill so yeah we'll see <laughs> sorry if this is a weird angle but i'm on my bed right now so it's later in the day it's about to hit like 5 p.m and i've kind of been cleaning for the past hour and a half like i just decided to deep clean my room and yeah mop do all of that stuff so that is why i've been mia for a while but last night was really fun i ended up getting home not too late like i actually was like super tired so i just wanted to go home but i spent all morning just getting my life together as always i was editing some of this video to get it out in time hopefully so i just came on to film an outro so i hope you enjoyed this video i feel like i didn't film that much because carrying a camera around can be annoying sometimes and i also get like weird when people are staring at me when i'm filming so that also makes it a little annoying but overall i had a great weekend so i hope you enjoy this as well so i post videos every monday at 3 p.m as always so please put the bell notification on so you're gonna whenever i post and i hope that everyone is staying safe taking care of their mental health and i'll see you in my next video bye